Hey everybody, Steve here from Tech Support again. Just uh, taking a break out of a day spent eating beef tenderloin. We had a little feast at the office here today, so if I seem a little off, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Anyway, uh, what we're talking about today is serial control and how it relates to our camera or cameras more specifically. Uh, this is going to be a down and dirty video giving you just the bare minimum of what you need to know to get your cameras plugged in up and running. It's not a tutorial in depth by any means. Hopefully it just helps you quickly get your cameras up and running with, uh, without much fuss. So to start off with, we're going to address RS-232. I've currently got two cameras wired up using an RS-232 connection from one of our joysticks. Uh, basically, whenever you're coming out of the joystick, it's gonna be using a DB9 connector. You plug that right into the connector here on the joystick itself and run that out to the input on your camera. From uh, that camera, if you're using a secondary camera, you're going to come out of the cascading output. If you look on the back here, we've got both an in and an output. So that RS-232 output is gonna come out using a mini DIN eight pin connector and we are going to plug into the back of this camera. The reason I picked this other camera right here, this is our VPTZ series camera. It's a little bit different than the rest of our cameras in that it requires a dongle on the back. A lot of people, uh, we've gotten calls where they're trying to plug these cables directly into the back of the camera. Not going to work. Looks similar, but it's a little bit different of a pinout. So you're going to use this little dongle here with the black and a red connection. The black is basically your input, red's your output. Pretty simple. So I've come out from this camera, and as you see, I'm coming into the input on the black uh, connector of the dongle on this camera here. Once you've done that, you need to choose your protocol and set your baud rate. So when we say protocol, protocol is the language that these cameras are speaking with. Um, we do three, support three of the protocols out there. They're pretty much the main ones. You've got Pelco D, Pelco P, and Visca. Almost any camera that you get on the market is gonna use all three of those or at least one or two of them. Same goes with joysticks. I've used Visca, but uh, all the real difference is, is you're choosing which protocol, they all kind of do the same thing. Baud rate is the speed of communication, the rate of data transmission coming down these wires here. Basically, all you need to know for that is you pick a baud rate that all of your equipment supports. I know that natively out of the box, both of these cameras and this joystick controller all work at 9600 baud rate, so I don't have to change that. I just confirm on my screen that that's indeed what I am set up with and I know that I'm gonna work. Beyond that, we need to address our cameras. If you have all your cameras on the same address, they're all gonna move when you move the joystick. What you want is to be able to individually control each one. So I've set this one to address one, this one to address two. This is done via the on-screen menu. Plug your HDMI output or SDI output to a monitor and you can enter into the settings and address the camera. It can also be done via the, the web interface if you're not using a monitor. So I've already done that. So basically if I just call up camera one on this one, I move my joystick and my camera moves. It's really easy. Uh, all our cameras come defaulted to channel one and 9600 baud rate. So if you only have one camera and you've got a joystick controller out of the box, you can just plug this in and it's just gonna work which is kind of a nice thing. If you're doing more than one camera, then you just need to set an extra address on the other camera and add a second camera to your joystick. So now when I call up camera two on the joystick here, there it is, that's up and running. We're not gonna go into too much depth on how to address a camera in the joystick. We've got a video that covers that already, so this is just hopefully clearing up the, the serial control stuff and which you should choose and how you implement it. So the next thing that we are going to go over is the RS-422 and RS-485 connections. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rewire this and then we'll touch on that. Connecting your cameras with RS-485 is very easy. All you need are two conductors, one for positive and one for negative. The pinout should be listed on the back of your device. It may read TA and TB for transmit A and transmit B, or simply plus and minus for positive and negative. To daisy chain your cameras, simply connect the positive terminal of the first camera to the positive terminal of the second camera, then connect the negative terminal of the first camera to the negative terminal of the second camera. If you have one of our VPTZ series cameras, connect the positive conductor to the red wire of the included mini DIN to two wire adapter, then connect the negative conductor to the black wire. 
When your terminations are complete, simply connect the 8-pin connector of the adapter to the red RS-45 connector on the included serial control dongle. Okay, now we've got our cameras all connected with RS-422. As you can see, we've disconnected all the RS-232 cables, and I should correct myself and say RS-485. Uh, RS-485 and 422 are kind of the same thing. The main difference is the 422 has a return channel, so you use four wires instead of two. We don't need two-way communication with PTZ cameras. It's just sending commands out to move the camera, so no need for that. Stick to RS-485, stupid simple. It's just two wires. As you can see, I just found a couple of scrap pieces of wire laying around just to demonstrate how easy it is to hook up this way. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't recommend doing this for a permanent installation, but I just wanted to show you that it's really nothing to be scared of, not a big deal. Anybody can hook it up. So, uh, as I connected this, you can see this camera here is working. Uh, if I change addresses, this camera is also working. And what I've actually done is reversed the addresses on these two cameras just to show that even if this camera is first in the daisy chain, this one's second, doesn't matter. Uh, you can arbitrarily assign numbers to all your cameras. Uh, as long as the address is right, then that's the camera you'll connect, regardless of the order that they're hooked up in. So again, as you can see, two wires in out. We got all our cameras hooked up real easy. I didn't have to change any settings on the joystick or the cameras. The same three protocols and the baud rate applies to whether you use an RS-232, RS-485, or RS-422. So uh, yeah, it's very simple and uh, it's a great way to control your cameras with very little difficulty and it makes it pretty easy to do. Well, uh, thanks for watching GearHeads. I hope this helps demystify the questions that we've been getting in tech support about serial control, about RS-232 versus 485. Don't worry too much about what it is, how it works, any of that. All you need to know is basically plus minus daisy chain and camera addresses. Couldn't be simpler. As always, we're available in tech support to help you get set up with all your stuff, so don't be shy about calling us if you get stuck. Uh, hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you the next time.